LBAquatics.com. Hello world, how's it going? Hope you guys are all doing great. If not, as always, I hope it gets better for you. Boy, that sun is bright. But hey, I can't complain. It is about winter time. And this is a bit what this video is about. So winter time's coming around. <laughs> Summer tubbing has pretty much ended for a lot of people. But you can't do it all year round. I'm in Indiana. It's like 50 some degrees out here today. So um, it's not the warmest. But I did want to show and share you guys, share with you guys how I do this. And also I've been kind of getting behind on the edited video. So I figured I'd just bring you guys along with me as I did a few projects out here in the ponds and tubs and kind of share it with you. So many of you guys who already watch my channel have seen some of the tops that i've done in the past years i think this is the third year i believe for these tubs i usually built a wood frame with acrylic but this year i actually got the uh double wall polycarbonate panels which these are for some reason super hard to find in my area i don't know why but it's super hard to find these in my area. And I had to order them online. Cost me close to 400 bucks with shipping just to get them here. For five sheets of 96 by 24. So they weren't cheap. But these should last me a lot better. And uh, work a lot better than the um, regular acrylic. Now the one thing about this, it holds in the water and moisture really, really well. So I'm gonna have to get in here and redo my drain. Cause if not, it just constantly flows over the side. Hopefully none of the babies have been flowing over here on the side. Looks like a little old piece of foam got stuck in there. So some of you guys who are not familiar with my setup, hello everybody in the chat too, we are live. Glad to see y'all in here, but I do have this insulated, as you can see in here, now that some of the rock is kind of worn away. There's a PVC frame that I just screwed together. And then I use like the foam housing insulation and cut it into the frame and then sealed it and fixed it with the spray foam. So the whole box is insulated. And then underneath these rocks, um, well, more rocks. I don't know how deep that goes. Let me see. Well, yeah, I don't remember how deep this is, but there is insulation underneath there as well. So it only goes up to a certain height. As you can see, it's all around the tub. And it helps keep this warm. So really, with that insulation around it and then the tops, I get away with a lot. Now, I do have electricity out here, so I do run a heater. There's four 500-watt heaters in here which probably isn't absolutely necessary, but I mean to have that many, but it helps to have multiples in case some fail. And uh, that way the ones that you do have in here don't have to work so hard to stay heated as well. Uh, yes, yes, tons of guppies in here. This should be really crazy to see how this goes all winter long. Now I had a lot of uh, random like projects I was working on with guppies and whatnot. And I didn't really have anywhere to put them, so I just stuck them all out here. So there's a lot of rare ones in here. Should be interesting to see what comes out of here by the end of this winter. Hopefully everybody makes it. I don't know why they wouldn't. Looks like the corkscrew valve's still flowering up, which is cool. I'm doing all right. I'm still healing from the uh, one wheel wreck. Oh, look at all this. So the valve scenario will break these off. And I don't know if this is like how it propagates itself. Cause like after a while, these flowers will break off of these stems and they'll float. And then I think they just finally plant themselves somewhere. Might as well get all that out. Yeah, how many gallons? I'm not sure 
how big these wishbone ponds are. This is a pretty standard wishbone pond. I think it's 180 gallons, something like that. Oh man, this is gonna be tough. So I gotta do, undo this drain to get the water level back down low. Cause the water sits up at the top of the tops and I don't want that to be hitting. Then also I got this stuff, this crystal clear tape. It says works underwater. I was trying to figure out a way that I could hinge these together. Let me move this piece. Cause I had these two pieces here and I'm gonna try this clear tape out on uh, making a hinge. That way I could just lift it up through the winter time. All right, that wind's gonna blow this away. Slow work on the back yard. I know some of you guys are probably wondering about that. I mean, ever since I hurt my arm, it's really hard for me to get out there. You know, there's always a cat hanging out. What's up, squeakers? You thirsty, girl? I'm always letting Mother Nature wash my rocks, too. So I usually got a rock pile here. I need to do something with these, though. These uh, Texas Holy Rocks. I need to get a shrimp tank started with those. Cardinal shrimp, I think so. I did get some of the stairs made. And done up. Kind of hard to see here, but I want a big stairway. Those big rocks are not easy to move. But Michael Michaelids, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. Super appreciate that support, Michael. Says, sorry I missed Friday's Q&A, but something for the pond fun. Hope you heal up quick. Always best way to get rid of pond snails. Also, best way to get rid of pond snails. I would say manual removal. Uh, just kind of bait and feed them. Or loach. Get yourself a loach. Loaches love to eat on snails. Puffers, little pea puffers. But thank you so much for the support, Michael. I appreciate it. All right, so yeah, everything looks like it's doing all right. And tons of guppies. I don't know how that quality is coming out too, being live. I can almost watch this all day. All right, let me scroll and chat here. If you guys got any questions about these tubs, feel free to ask. Nocturnal Aquarius says, at LRB Aquatics, if you want to hinge them with the tape, it should work. You probably want to double or triple layer it so it'll be sturdy enough to handle being opened, bent repeatedly. Yeah, that's a great point. Thank you, Nocturnal Aquarius. Really, really good point. I love the colors this gets around this time of year, too. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. All right, Perry Mars says the Sarah Brand snail trap works well, Michael. Hey, hey, simply betters in the chat. Now, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I put this on public, but it doesn't seem like many of you are, many of you are in the chat. It is nice weather. Maybe a lot of people are out. Very cool. How long did it take to get that valve to grow out like that? It's been in here for years, so. Let's see, last year, actually, I took probably almost at least half of it. And it's already grown back within this year, so it doesn't take a whole lot of time. It, de it all depends on how much you have to start off with, too. I do battle algae in here, so when I do get algae, I just kind of peel it out. Ooh, watch out, fish. I took a fish with me. Then I actually slap it up against the uh, pillars here for my deck. That way it just kind of solidifies my deck. It gives me more, more dirt over there by time. It actually takes a long time for this algae to break down naturally out of the water. I find threads of it all around in my backyard now and then. Matter of fact, there's still a bunch down there. If you can see down there, the whole pile. It's 
it's pretty wild all right and then in here there's not a whole lot i actually probably need to get these guys in these are long fin zebra danios kind of hard to see then not a whole lot in here not really trying to keep a whole lot out here this winter uh, this has the golden white cloud minnows somewhere in here oh yeah there's one still in the thing oh that water's kind of chilly now these guys will uh go all year round without a heater oh what a mess what a mess make sure there's no fish in there i'm just glad it's nice enough to even be out here there it goes. LRB, what got me into this hobby? Uh, as a kid, my dad always had a tank or tanks laying around so I'd catch stuff in the creek and throw them into the aquarium. So I always loved ponds, creeks. I'd always be out. We lived out in the country, so I'd always be out there playing. And it wasn't until I got out of college I realized you can keep plants in aquariums and then i was uh, absolutely hooked that's the short version of it so it did take me a while to really get big into the aquariums like i always kept a aquarium but once i learned you could do plants and start using mother nature and creating ecosystems and stuff that's when it really started getting big for me and i really like went gangbusters and fell in love with the whole hobby so cool beautiful fish but yes no filter here i actually did when i first initially built this you can see that uh pvc there it's actually a spray bar for this pond i have a huge sump to where all this was connected there's the spray bar for it which the connector piece is off and you can see here on the side all the valves where i could shut them off and then underneath here's a big old sump that i actually created and then uh i quit using that and then i started learning more of how mother nature handles itself out here and this is what influenced my fish room a lot was doing the summer tubbing and doing the outdoor planted natural hole dealio no airlines no nothing and everything always did absolutely amazing out here that way so i started implementing that into my fish room and it worked out real well what is the pond temp i don't know it's nice and warm in here I usually have thermometers in here, but I think the raccoons stole them all this year. So I have no idea where they would even be. Like raccoons run amok during the summer. I got a good idea for whenever I get this pond dealio thing situated for those. But until then, hopefully I'll have that done by next spring. All right, man, that water feels nice though. Laser temp. I do got a laser temp gun. I could do that. Someone asked if they could buy these guppies at lrbaquatics.com. So I don't have the actual like pond guppies or mutt guppies or whatever for sale. I just have like my straight lines for sale. I do have random inlers and random uh, females and males for sale. But they don't come out of the pond. The only reason is because they are out in the wild they are out in the nature there may be something in here i mean they all look healthy and happy but there still may be a possibility of something transferring into somebody else's tank from this i just prefer to have clean stock that's already been qt'd and people don't have to worry about that if i plan on selling it they're just nibbling up my fingers if you guys ever need like a little mani petty cure you ladies i guess i could start a little business doing that because these guys are just nibbling away yum 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 see if i can get up close oh yeah 
hopefully the quality's coming out. I know a lot of times live stream when you have a lot of fish moving around, it doesn't always come out the best. But it looks really cool through my phone. Do you still have any albino guppies? I do. The albino galaxy guppies I have. Lots of uh, blue and reds in here. All right. Get back to scrolling here. Yeah, I'm loving it. Oh no. But these uh, tops, they definitely work a lot better than the acrylic. So I'm excited to have these. I just wish they were a lot easier to get around here. We can go inside and uh, get a temp gun. We can see how warm that actually is. We got some family over too. Sarah's parents are here and she's cooking and Wesley's hanging out. They're playing games. Always got this stuff up here. Yeah. All right. Temp going. It's been a while since I've even broke this out. I don't even know if it works. Like, it's cold enough to make my nose run a little bit outside. So we got a 73.5 in there, which is all right. Then, uh, well, kind of hard to tell the air temp. Do it in the shadow, so. It's like 50 degrees. Can I laser tempt the cat? Squeakers. I need to get the laser pointer on it. Noah has a laser pointer mode on here. Oh, there we go. If she sees this, she'll love it. How warm are you, kitty? Oh, she's a warm kitty. Almost 90. Hold still, kitty. Meow. All right, anyways, okay. Let's see what this one is. I know a couple of these are going to be cold. That one's 76. Wow, that one's 81. I didn't even think, oh, that does have a heater. Oh my, that one's 52. That's one, that's the one with the golden white clouds. And then this one is 52 as well. Got some food sitting in there. Oh, there's one of the fish. It's hiding, it's a sword tail. Burr. Oh yeah, look he's hibernating. Oh my gosh, I didn't know they did that. That water is so cold. So, so cold. What's down there, Squeaks? Wow. What was that again? See, actually, see, it doesn't help that I have heaters in these two and none in here. Should at least have a heater in here and here and then that'd probably keep these two warm. May end up doing that, switching them out. All right. So yeah, I just wanted to bring you guys along with uh, just messing around with the tubs out here, I'm just enjoying the day. Since I've been getting behind on uh, shooting videos for edited videos, I was planning on doing a real nice fancy video for. Uh, my fish room tour where I was going to do all this that and the other but I think I'm still just going to run and gun with my phone Because it will probably be Next year by the time I would get it done if I started to do it that way, so <sighs> Time 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 just not enough time in a day <laughs> Pam you're funny uh, that's funny. Okay, Brian, uh, Clem, uh, Clem, uh, sorry, Brian says, hi, LRB, so I want to keep some of your dwarf neons and shrimps. Have you seen issues with the neon spraying on adult shrimp? I can understand the baby shrimp. So, they can eat some shrimp. They'll, like, pick at their legs. They'll pick at their tails. Rainbows are always hungry. Absolutely always, always hungry. So it's really hard to keep rainbows with shrimp. One's about to blow my top away. 
So I don't really recommend keeping rainbows and shrimp together. It's just too, too difficult. Because they're just always hungry. Why do ponds look better with small fish in it? I don't know. I like it, that's for sure. Uh, shotgun and sh sh shovel says I bred my embers outside because of you. Oh, that's awesome to hear. All right. Ch -ch 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 -ch. All right, well, I'm going to hop off here before it gets too long. Any advice for making driftwood sink? Um, you just got to waterlog it. Or you could tie a brick to it or tie a rock to it or put rocks on top of it. Um, don't you have another pond in the yard? So I don't have ponds yet. I'm working on a retaining. Man, that wall's about to tear up all my top, or that wind's about to tear up all my tops. I'm building a wall here so I could build ponds up there, kind of like these over there, but lots of them and really cool ones to where I could customize them to wherever and whatever, which will be really cool. LRB, will you ever keep koi? Maybe if I ever get my project done in the front yard that I want to do. I did talk to Greg Whitstock. We've talked a little bit, so who knows? Maybe something come from that. I could at least get that working. I finally got a group of shellies. Any tips on the setups? Just shells and sand. They love the sand so they can sift it through their mouths. Not rocks so much. You can use Anubius and some other... What's up, kitty? You need some love? She's like one of our more needy kitties. LRB are those mutt guppies. So yes, these are mutt guppies. Um, mixed with all kinds of like different rare strands. Like I got my fire and ice in here. I've got the uh, red and blue platinums. I've got the volcano guppies in here. Let's see, what else do I have? I've got some albino galaxy. Uh, guppies. I think there's pastels in here. Uh, black Moscow's in here. Uh, maybe a few others. Like a Santa Claus line. Another like sapphire type line. A lot of those sapphires and Santa Claus, they actually just come from the blue and red um, inlers. But you can see the difference. See how that one's more white in the head? And these are more like blue. So there are differences, but they don't breed true. Wow, look at that one. It's awesome. So they go out in here, because I didn't, I mean, I don't have the heart to kill them or I didn't know what to do with them. So I just gave them a good home. Is that red val of some sort? So red val and regular val is the same thing it's just under a certain lighting and time it'll turn red so when they sell red val it's not really red val they're just selling it in its red form of the year it is regular corkscrew val all right we'll be upon with a thousand pygmaea right yeah, wait till I get this done. I'll be excited for that. I'm gonna have all kinds of pond stuff going out or going on and it's gonna be awesome. But all right, I'm gonna hop off here. Thank you all for hanging out. I appreciate it. And I hope you guys all have a great weekend. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Oh wait, atomic cichlid, any substrate in those ponds. So there is sand and eco complete in some of those ponds. So a uh, pretty basic substrate. I uh, don't need a lot, but. All right, peace everybody, have a great one.